Hey, boys and girls, we've talked a minute ago, a little bit ago about the launcher. This is the launcher. And that's the files icon. And files are where um, whenever you take a photo or you save it, save something, save an image, save something, it gets saved to your files. Now, sometimes you might want to take a screenshot. That's a, a picture of your screen. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, on Tuesday's last, uh, Tuesday, August 4th technology lesson, some of us had a problem with the Kahoot that I, that I posted. There was a problem with it. It would have been really nice um, if you could have taken a screenshot to show me what the problem was. Sometimes teachers hear from students and the, and the students say, uh, Mr. Auslander, this website isn't working. Or Mr. Auslander, I can't figure out this uh, part of the assignment. And if you took a screenshot of it, you could send that and the teachers could see exactly what you see on your screen. And the way to do a screenshot, a partial screenshot, is, as you can see right here, control, shift, and show all. This is the show all. It's right above the, the number six. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do control, shift, and I'm going to press that uh, the button right above the six. It did that. Now, do you notice that my cursor looks like a bullseye? I'm going to click and hold down. I'm not going to let go of the click. And let's say I just want this part, that, that rectangle, as a screenshot. I'll do this part right there. And listen to what happens. Oh, there was no sound. Okay. But anyway, here it shows that it was a screenshot. The screenshot was just taken. Show in folder. Let's, let's click on that. It's going to take me to um, this image that I just took right here. Screenshot. Remember, I mentioned it's really important that you rename things. So I clicked on it. I'm going to click on the pencil. And I'm going to call this screenshot of, uh, of, of tutorial. You want to make sure you name it something because if you have five screenshots, you might accidentally send your teacher the wrong screenshot. So now I took a picture of it. I'm sorry, now I changed, I renamed it. And it's called screenshot of tutorial. Now let's say I wanted to send that screenshot to my teacher. So obviously I'm going to want to go next to Canvas. And let's say I wanted to send that to Mr. Auslander. I'm going to go to my technology course. And from here, I'm going to click on what's called the inbox. Inbox is like mail. You go to the mailbox, you open your mailbox, you see if there's anything in the mailbox. It's mail, back and forth, back and forth. Click on the inbox. This student hasn't received any mail. This student's going to mail a screenshot to Mr. Auslander. Remember, I'm logged in as a student right now. So looking at this, what makes the most sense for what to press to write a message to somebody? Of course, it's the pencil. Okay. Now it's going to say, which course do you want to write the message in? So I'm going to click the, the toggle and let's see. Let's go for my favorite courses. If I'm sending it to Mr. Auslander, I'm going to go to technology. He's my technology teacher. To who? If I just start typing a name, it doesn't, oh, it does work. Look at that. Usually I, I thought I would have to click on teachers, but I just started typing Auslander and boom, my name popped up. So if I started typing Auslander, boom, it worked because I'm in technology. I always like to make sure that my students give me a subject. So I might call it screenshot or I might say help. Because usually when students are sending me screenshots, they may be saying, I need help with this. And the screenshot might help. Or maybe there's just something that you want to show your teacher that you took from, the, from online. Maybe you did really well on, uh, on an assignment and you want to show it to them. So then you would give a message. You would click on the paperclip link to attach. And if I click on recent, look, screenshot of tutorial. It's right there in, um, in my files.
you see here the screenshot of tutorial has shown up right there. And while I'm at it, why don't I attach? Do you remember that selfie that I took earlier? Let's see if I can find it. I could go to recents. There's selfie of Mr. A right there. Go to my files. There's selfie of Mr. A right there. I could go to images. There's selfie of Mr. A right there. Sometimes it's a little tricky to find. Hey, if, if you save something to Google Drive, you might be able to find things from your drive. An easy way to find it is if something was recently taken, you can click on recent. Let's add the selfie of Mr. A. And obviously, um, don't just send selfies of, of yourself to, to your teachers, but I'm just showing you that you could send a picture that you take on your computer of a project that you've done, of um, your family, of yourself, of a screenshot. You can send these to your teacher from home. Boom. Now it's been sent. Now, if I wanted to send a message to my homeroom teacher, again, pencil to write a new message. That makes sense. Course. Let's look at the course options. I'm going to click on, I'm going to hover over favorite courses. And this student is in Miss Jarrett's class. Then I might be able to start typing Jarrett and Miss Jarrett appears there. Or more specifically, I could click on teachers. And Miss Jarrett appears there. I always like to have a subject, so um, help with assignment. You could just say, hi, Mrs. Jarrett. I need help, and you could explain what you need help with, right? And if you even wanted to, check this out. You could even click on that record upload media comment and click allow. Scroll down to, until we see start recording. Hi, Mrs. Jarrett, I need help with my assignment. And you would explain what you needed help with. And you click Save. Looks like the media comment is right there. And click Send. And he, uh, it was sent. So now we know how to send messages um, to our teachers through Canvas Inbox. We know how to take a screenshot and submit that. We know how to send a message, a video message even. Um, this Chromebook has a lot of really neat features that I think you're going to really like. Um, we're just scratching the surface. Stay tuned for more videos.